Teresa Palmer born February 26, 1986, is an Australian actress, writer, model, and film producer. Palmer was born and raised in Adelaide, South Australia, the only child of Kevin Palmer, an investor, and Paula Sanders, a former nurse and missionary. Her parents divorced in 1989, when she was three. She has a stepmother, Karen Palmer, as well as two half-sisters and two step-brothers, who lived with her father. Palmer stated to interview that she came from rather humble beginnings, she lived in public housing with her mother, while regularly visiting her father at his farm near Miller in the Adelaide Hills, which she later purchased as an adult. Palmer was named after Mother Teresa by her mother, and has stated that she had a tough upbringing due to her mother's manic depression. Palmer was a student at Mercedes College, a private Catholic day school, and won a local casting audition, Search for a Movie Star, in 2003. Her first acting job was dressing up as a strawberry shortcake doll and as an elf assistant to mall Santa Clauses on weekends for promotions in shopping centers near Adelaide. Palmer went to acting classes for a couple of years and appeared in several television commercials. She was a fast food attendant at Hungry Jack's in Rundle Mall in 2005, before working at clothing retailers Supra, Mambo Australia, and Cotton On. After graduating from high school, Palmer thought that she would work in an animal rescue service, and eventually open her own animal welfare agency. She was accepted into a university to study teaching and was taking a course on journalism, but had always dreamt of acting. She got a call from an agent about appearing in a student film, 237. The director had seen her head shot on the acting agency's website and wanted her to be in the movie. Palmer dropped out of the university to work on the film. Palmer had been an extra on Deck Dogs, 2005, and other films shot in Adelaide. At the age of 18, she was cast by filmmaker Murali K. Thalery in the independent Australian film 237, about a tragic high school suicide. She was nominated for the 2006 Australian Film Institute Award for Best Lead Actress for her performance. She then signed with a talent agent in Sydney. A role in Wolf Creek, 2005, followed, in a pool party scene. Palmer starred in the psychological thriller Restraint, with English actor Stephen Moyer and Calvin Klein model Travis Fimmel. Shot on location around New South Wales in mid-2005, the film was written by Dave Warner and directed by David Denneen. Palmer was named an Australian Star of Tomorrow by Screen International that year. She then starred in December Boys, a coming-of-age film set in the 1960s, based on a novel by Michael Noonan. She played Lucy, who has a romance with Daniel Radcliffe's character on a remote beach resort. Palmer studied Dominique Swain's performance in Lolita, 1997, to capture her character's overt sexuality. The film began shooting in November 2005 on the south coast of Australia. It was released on September 14, 2007 in the UK and US and September 20, 2007 in Australia and received mixed reviews. And failed at the box office. 237 premiered at the 2006 Con Film Festival in Uncertain Regard selection. The film received a standing ovation, a turning point for Palmer, giving her confidence in acting as a career. The trip to Cannes led her to meet her manager, David Seltzer, and American talent agents. She signed with the William Morris Agency. Palmer was cast to star with Tom Sturridge in her first American feature, Jumper, a science fiction film directed by Doug Lyman. Her part was later recast when the lead characters were rewritten for older actors, her role went to Rachel Bilson. Palmer was devastated from losing the role and returned to Adelaide for a few months. She made her Hollywood feature film debut in The Grudge 2 in 2006, a horror sequel starring Amber Tamblyn and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Palmer described her character, Vanessa, as the bitch's schoolgirl. The Grudge 2 was released in North America on October 13, 2006, Friday the 13th. 
to negative reviews and grossed $70 million worldwide against its $20 million budget. In early 2007, Palmer was cast as Tori Frederking in the comedy Take Me Home Tonight, starring Anna Ferris, Dan Fogler, and Topher Grace. Set in the 1980s, the film was directed by Michael Dowse and released in March 2011. Take Me Home Tonight received negative reviews from film critics and was a box office flop, failing to recoup its $19 million budget. Palmer starred in the film clip for the 2007 single Breaking Up, by the band Eskimo Joe, shot in Newcastle. Palmer jumps into the sea with the band's singer, Cavien Temporally. Palmer relocated from Semaphore Beach in Adelaide to Los Angeles in May 2007 to further her career, and began auditioning for films. She stated that Los Angeles was a big adjustment and very different from her home in Australia. She went through a period of loneliness and depression, and considered going back home until she made friends there. In November 2007, Palmer was cast as the villain, Talia Al Ghul, in the DC Comics superhero film, Justice League of America, alongside DJ Kotrana, Adam Brody, Anton Yelchin, Common and Megan Gale. George Miller was set to direct the film, but it was cancelled by Warner Brothers. Due to script rewrite issues and the 2007-2008 Writers Guild of America strike, Palmer was the face of Sydney jeweler Jan Logan's Modern Darling collection in 2008. She was picked that year by Adam Sandler from an audition tape to play his love interest in the Walt Disney Pictures children's film, Bedtime Stories. She played an heiress, Violet Nottingham, starring alongside Guy Pearce and Courtney Cox. Sandler also put Palmer's mother and best friend in scenes in the film. It was released on December 25, 2008 and received to negative reviews but grossed $212 million worldwide on its $80 million budget. Palmer won the romantic lead in Disney's The Sorcerer's Apprentice, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer and directed by John Turtletub. The film was based on the relevant section of the animated film Fantasia, 1940, which was set to a short symphonic poem for orchestra by Paul Dukas, El Apprenti Sorcier, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, published in 1897, and by far, the best known of Dukas' compositions. All of which were inspired by the eponymous poem by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Palmer stayed in Manhattan's West Village while filming for six months. She played Becky Barnes, a college student who is pursued by Dave Stetler, Jay Baruchel, a physics student and apprentice to the wizard Balthazar, Nicolas Cage. It was released on July 14, 2010 to mixed reviews, and grossed $215 million worldwide on its big $150 million budget. In July 2010, Parade magazine named the film No. One on its list of biggest box office flops of 2010, so far. In 2009, Palmer formed the film production company Avakia Productions, with Australian actresses Tahina Tazi and Natalie Kelly. She was a guest judge on MTV Australia, for the Sydney filmmaking talent contest, Optus 180 Project. She also filmed an ad campaign that year for the Australian jean store, Just Jeans, and became the face and spokesperson for the Jerlaki Cosmetics Company. In 2011, Palmer starred in the sci-fi adventure film, I Am Number 4, alongside Alex Pettifer and Diana Agron. She played Number 6, one of nine aliens hiding out on Earth because her home planet was destroyed. Her character was skilled in martial arts, rode a Ducati motorcycle, and could phase her way through solid objects. She went through stunt training for the role, learning to perform flips, sword fight, and do wire work. The film was adapted from a novel that was the first of a six-part series. Palmer signed on to do three movies, if the film became a franchise. The film was released in theaters on February 18, 2011, and was also released in the IMAX format. It received generally negative reviews from critics and grossed $149 million worldwide. Palmer was going to star in Fury Road, 
a sequel to the Mad Max series by Australian filmmaker George Miller, but didn't join the cast due to scheduling conflicts. The film was later postponed. Palmer starred in the short film Bear, directed by Nash Edgerton, which competed at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival. She appeared opposite Joel Edgerton in the independent Australian drama thriller, Wish You Were Here, directed by Kieran Darcy Smith. The film began shooting in Sydney in November 2010, and premiered at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. The film received positive reviews from critics. She also starred in a comedic short, Quirky Girl, for the website Funny or Die, opposite Aaron Paul. Palmer starred in the 2013 zombie film, Warm Bodies, produced by Summit Entertainment, and based on a young adult novel by Isaac Marion. She played Julie, a human who falls in love with a zombie, Nicholas Holt. It was released on February 1, 2013 in the United States and on February 8, 2013 in the United Kingdom. It opened to positive reviews and grossed $116 million worldwide. In February 2013, Palmer was announced as the global face of Artistry Cosmetics. Palmer then starred in Love and Honor with Liam Hemsworth, an independent romance filmed in mid-2011 in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The film is set in the 1960s during the Vietnam War, and was released in March 2013. It had a limited release on March 22, 2013, receiving negative reviews and only grossed $19,000. In 2014, she co-starred alongside Josh Hartnett, Rosario Dawson, and Penn Badgley in the romantic drama Parts Per Billion. It was released on video on demand on May 20, 2014, and on home video on June 6, 2014. It received negative reviews from critics. Palmer had two films that premiered at the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival, Cut Bank, 2014, and Kill Me Three Times, 2015. Both films received negative reviews from critics. She played the love interest to Liam Hemsworth and Billy Bob Thornton's daughter in Cut Bank and an assassin in Kill Me Three Times opposite Simon Pegg, Alice Braga, and Luke Hemsworth. The latter film was released on April 10, 2015. She starred with Melissa Leo and Phoebe Tonkin in The Ever After, directed by her husband Mark Weber. Written by Palmer and Weber, it is a love story that explores the depths of marriage. In 2015, she appeared in the Terence Malick-directed film Night of Cups, starring Christian Bale. The film premiered in the main competition section at the 65th Berlin International Film Festival in February 2015. Night of Cups has re received mixed reviews from critics. The film was released on March 4, 2016 in the United States by Broad Green Pictures. Palmer had a supporting role in the 2015 remake of Point Break. The film was released in the US on December 25, 2015. It was panned by critics. In October 2015, it was learned that Palmer would participate in a short film called Too Legit with Zoe Kravitz, Clark Gregg, Nate Cordry, and Lauren Weedman. This project was confirmed by the director of the film. Frankie Shaw via Twitter and Instagram and had its premiere on January 23, 2016 at the Sundance Film Festival. In 2016, she played the female lead role in the adaptation of the Nicholas Sparks novel The Choice, alongside Benjamin Walker, Tom Welling, Alexandra Dottario, and Tom Wilkinson. The film premiered on February 5, 2016 and was panned by critics. She appeared alongside Casey Affleck in the crime, drama heist film, Triple Nine, 2016, directed by John Hillcote. It was released nationwide on February 26, 2016. It was met with mixed reviews and failed to impress at the box office. Also that year, she portrayed Rebecca in the horror film Lights Out, and co-starred in the war drama Hacksaw Ridge, playing the love interest of Andrew Garfield's character. Both films received positive reviews, with Palmer's performances being praised. 
She co-starred in the film Message from the King, alongside Chadwick Boseman, Luke Evans, and Alfred Molina. In 2017, Palmer starred in the psychological thriller Berlin Syndrome, alongside Max Remelt. She also starred alongside Michael Hussman and Sam Reed in the science fiction thriller 222. In 2018, Palmer began a starring role as Diana Bishop in the British supernatural drama series A Discovery of Witches. The series received positive reviews, 